Hello and welcome to my 5 Pro Sediment Building Tips. In this video I will discuss 5 tips which will help improve your sediments by making them feel more alive and interesting. Alright, let's get started. Tip 1, Height Levels. Making different height levels in your sediments helps your eye get distracted and lost in the ambience. This also adds for some interesting build designs such as overhanging balconies, stairways, and bridges. Here are some examples of height making a settlement more interesting. Here we have my Abernathy farm build, which I made as 10 pitting tower from Fallout 3. The grand structure towering over the farm and trees help it feel more grand and inviting. But you don't have to build this tool to have an effect. For example, here in Sanctuary in the hotel. If we head out onto the top balcony, we can see some really stunning views onto the settlement. This adds some really pleasing views for you to enjoy. Here is another example of how height can add a unique flair to your settlements. Here we are at Finch Farm, and as we can see, I've built on three major levels, the ground level, hanging buildings and bridges, and of course on top of the bridge. Utilising different height levels will help make more visual interest to your settlements. Tip 2, Lighting. Lighting seems like a simple part of building a settlement build. You would think, just add some ceiling lights and it's done, which in some cases isn't entirely incorrect. Although adding more adept lighting techniques will help add atmosphere and liveliness to your settlements. Take for example here at Kingsport Lighthouse. You can see the spotlights which are lighting the walkways of the settlement. This adds clear paths for your settlement and helps give off a certain feel. Another example of lighting is here at Tafferton Boathouse. As we can see, the entire garden area is lit up with these gas lamps. This helps add a nice warm, calm light which adds the garden's tone. Also, make sure you're thinking about what light objects to use in certain scenarios. Using an industrial work light in a bedroom doesn't usually fit. So instead, using a modern house light can help keep your builds, keep the feel you're going for. Tip 3, Theme. Speaking about what you're going for in your settlements, now let's talk about theme. Coming up with a clear theme and idea before starting your settlements can help stick Towns obviously need a store, residential houses, and then why not get creative? A church as well. Another idea for a theme could be a military base, like a Jamaica Plain settlement. Here we can clearly see that the settlement is built for a military purpose. This adds real atmosphere and immersion to your settlements and keeps the build evolving as you go along. Tip 4. Clutter. If you want your builds to be lived in, then adding clutter is a great way to do so. Adding clutter can be done with or without mods. If you're not using any mods, then you can simply drop an item, pick up, drag it to where you want to put it, and it's a great way to decorate your settlements as well. However, if you are using mods, then clutter can be taken to a whole nother level. Here at Jamaica Plain in the armory, we can see lots of military equipment stacked on the shelves. Now try to imagine how plain this room would look with just the shelves. It would no longer be a military supply depot. Adding clutter to your builds doesn't only help them feel lived in, but it can help portray your theme, which we just went over. Clutter can be very simple as well, like here at Sunshine Tidings. I have added plenty of boxes and other equipment scattered throughout the settlement. Thinking about your theme before adding clutter can help tie the two tips together, which make a more compelling build. Here is a couple of bonus tips that can help improve your settlement builds as well. Bonus tip 1. Utilising settlers and robots. Now what do I exactly mean when I say utilising settlers and robots? Now I don't mean getting them to work on defence or farming, although this is fine as well, but thinking more outside the box will help add life to your builds and ties in with them as well. 
Here's a great example at my Commonwealth Medical Centre at County Crossing. Here we have a lady dressed as a doctor. And if we head inside this room, we will see a lady mechanic trying to fix this stove. These are just little details that help your settlements feel more alive. Another quick bonus tip is don't be afraid to tear something down if you have a better idea. Restarting an area of your settlement or building can be a daunting but also worth it task. If you have an idea which you think helps further your theme and feel of your settlement better than the existing building, then don't be afraid to rebuild or add onto that structure. Tip 5. Utilising multiple tabs when building and decorating. This tip is probably the biggest tip when it comes to keeping all of your builds unique, especially if you're not using mods. Making a building out of the vanilla wood tab is fine, but once you have four or more of these buildings right next to each other, then they start to feel all the same. Even just adding a metal base and a wooden second floor on a settler's home can make it feel unique and will separate it from the rest. Using multiple tabs when decorating is just as important as it is with building structures. Utilising the floor decorations, wall decorations and miscellaneous de decorations all together helps to add variation and can make a room feel like it is truly lived in. Okay guys and girls, that was my 5 pro settlement building tips that will make your settlements more immersive. I wanted to thank you all for your continued support in the channel. All of your kind comments have been much appreciated. If you like this video then let me know in the comments and leave a like on the video if you would also like to see 5 more pro settlement building tips. If you liked any of the settlements featured in this video then I have a full tours of each one on my channel and in my settlement playlist tour which can be found on the playlist tab on my channel. Hope that you learnt something today and that your future settlement builds improve and become more of what you want. Have fun building everyone.